Alright guys, in this video we're going to take a look at creating some rocks for our level. Just some little rock outcroppings that we can throw in here and there to dress things up a little bit. So we're going to grab our lasso tool here and we're just going to grab a little chunk kind of like we did for our mountains so that we don't have to worry about getting to the edges. So we'll just grab it like that and finish it off. Come over and create a new layer. And I'm going to grab somewhere around a medium gray, just a hint of blue in it. And if you've gone through the rest of this series, you know why. We want to be able to bring out some of those highlights later. So we're going to fill that. We're looking pretty good. Control D to deselect. And now we're going to start playing around creating a few different rocks. So we've got this going. Actually, you know what? Let's try something else. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z to reselect that. Otherwise, you can hold down Control and click on it and it will select it. Let's uh, sample our front color here. And just a little. I don't want to be very far off that color for the background color, but pretty close. Just to make a little bit of a difference. Let's go up and let's do some clouds again. There, it just gives a little bit of texture to it that I like. So now we can deselect that. And now I'm going to hit Control J and make a copy of that. I'm going to hit Control T. I'm going to shrink that copy down. Hold down Shift so it scales pretty evenly. And yeah, that's not bad. A little bit less than half. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. And I might even grab my warp tool here. Just play around with shaping it. It can be hard to see. But that's okay. We're going to we're going to kind of leave it up to chance. Grab my move tool and I'm going to hold shift, which will keep it snapped to this bottom when it's on. And bring this over here. We'll go back down to this layer. I'm going to hold shift again. I'm going to bring that just a little bit over. Go back to my new layer. And I think I'm going to hit control T again. Stretch this up a little bit. And I think I'm going to warp it again. That's really what this is about is just playing around. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go back to my first layer. I'm going to hit control J again. And I'm going to hit Control T again. Shrink this down a little bit. And you can do multiples of these. You have 10 rocks in there. Let's slide that over a little bit. I kind of like that. And I'm going to warp. I think I'm just going to suck this bottom down a little bit. Make it a little less pointy. I'm going to hit Control T to take it back to a regular transform and bring it back up to where it was. That's pretty good. And uh, I would probably do a couple more small rocks in here just to really make it nice and break it up. But for the sake of this, we'll get the idea, so we'll stop there. Alright, so now I'm going to go in, go to my first layer. And we're going to put a border around it. So we're going to go back and do our stroke thing again. Change our color to black. And there we go. That's nice. We're going to do that for all three. Now the reason we didn't do this before we made these copies is because when we were transforming it, it would have changed the size of our, the thickness of our line. And we want our lines to be consistent. So that's why we waited till the end to do it. So there we go. That's not too bad right there. And we're going to go back to our old familiar and we're going to hit our dodge tool. Or our burn tool, I should say. I'm going to start with this back rock because it's the biggest one. Now, when we're dealing with our lighting, we already know from previous lessons that we're looking at that upper left, that it's coming this way. So most of our brightness is going to be here. However, with light hitting everything in the environment, you are going to get a little bit of halo of light. So we don't want to burn right up to the edge of this. 
So I'm going to kind of burn it in the middle with a pretty big, pretty big brush. And down here where the other rocks are around it, that's where it's really going to get dark on us. That's pretty good. And then I'm just going to start moving up. Do this one. This one's tall, so we're going to get a lot of light that's kind of creeping over the top of this. So we're just going to pull this down. Darken that bottom a little. Because it's got this rock blocking some of that light, it's, it's going to have less of that halo effect. Whereas this one way back here is going to have the same to maybe a little more. But it's going to be catching some shadow from this one. So like right down here is going to be really dark. And our center is going to be pretty dark. Let's adjust our brush down a little bit. So that's not too bad. And then we can just work our way back down through our layers with our dodge tool. My dodge tool I'm going to make pretty small because these are rocks so I don't want a really even amount of light showing off them. I want it kind of busted up. A little bit of a strange shape to it. I might pick up just some light highlights here and there. Quite a few highlights up here. I do like using a soft brush just so the grady, gradient is nice and even on it because that suits the kind of cartoony style we're doing. But you could use like a chalk brush or something like that so you really got a lot of texture out of it. But again, that's going to depend a little bit on uh, just what kind of style you're going for. Enlarge that brush a little bit and give it just kind of a sweep. And we can do the same thing over here. Oops, gotta get on that layer. Make a big sweep on it. Bring our brush down. Do a little bit of detail work. Get that looking nice. Alright, now we just have to uh, either look over in our navigator if you have it set up, or just back it out. Long game size. That's not too bad. It's looking very rocky. It'll look like rocks when it's in with our other stuff. If we want, we can come on up here to Image and Adjustments. Actually, I'm going to bring all these layers down. Control E, Control E, get them all in one layer. Image Adjustments, Levels. We can fiddle with our levels. You can see our main blacks come in here, so we, we can darken that up a little bit. We can bring this back to lighten that up if we want. So you can get something that's really, really got a lot of contrast and really stylistic. Or we can back it off a little so it's not quite so pronounced. And we can start adjusting our middle. Find some nice some nice blues in there. I like that quite a bit. And it's really all just personal taste. But overall that's pretty simple. The rocks come along for it's pretty easy to do and we'll just be able to throw those in on top of our levels here and there make things look a little spiffier. So once again we're gonna go ahead save these out as the targets that we normally would and because we are going to have some transparency we do want to save those at 32-bit. Remember 32-bit on your targets holds the transparency anything less is not gonna keep the transparency in the channel. So We're all set and we will go ahead and move on to that next video.